thousands of people from across the world lined the streets of downtown Auburn today for the annual Parade of Classics. However, several reasons on why they came out. There's not anything like it, is there? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just real special to see something this old and this good a shape. Bob Hoover used to live in Northeast Indiana, but now lives in Tennessee. However, that doesn't stop him from bringing his six-year-old son to the Auburn Corn Duesenberg Festival every year. We come back often uh, to visit family that's here, and so this works together for us. So we always try to hit Labor Day if we can, come to Auburn. Mm -hmm. We like seeing these old cars. The parades proved to be timeless with generations lighting Jackson Street watching the cars drive by. Just like seeing how like it went from those cars to on cars these days. For others, the Parade of Classics is about reconnecting with true love. I love the old cars, but um, she and I first started dating when we came to this parade the first time a few years ago. Bill Newcomb and his wife Sherry try to make it to the parade every Labor Day weekend, but for her, it's about reliving history. It's just fun to see these old cars and the people dress up in the times, you know, of the cars, and it's just, it's just fun. It's just a great afternoon. Even the dogs got in the spear and dressed to get their pictures taken next to the doozies. A lot of people nowadays can't afford these cars, but they can sit and watch them and love that about them. We do build some, but not to this extent. And of course, everyone has their favorite in the parade. If I had to choose, it probably my favorite would probably be the Auburn. I like the Duesenbergs the best, so I'm waiting for them to come. I just like to imagine what it would be like to own one of those back in the days, and, which was, by the way, before my time. The cords, I don't know why, I guess they're a little more shapely. It's our favorite part of the parade. Because we get to see old, really old cars. He likes how round they are. More than 200 cars participate in the parade today. As for planning for next year, that begins on Wednesday. In Auburn, Cody Butler, WFFT Local News, first at 10.